We're going to attempt to probe the area of darkness. <laughs> Guess that was your accomplice in the wood chipper. So let's do this thing. Welcome to the Lapbook Podcast. This is episode 57 for the 19th of September 2017. Uh, I'm your host, Stuart Edwards, and with us tonight, of course, is Thomas of the very bearded one, Busby. Hiya, Tom. Hello. And below me there is uh, Robert of the... Uh, I haven't got as much long hair as I used to have, uh, Davis. Hi, da- hi, hi, Rob. Hi, that's you. If it go back... <laughs> you what? If it back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Well, no, mine grows back as well. I just keep it short because that's the way I like it. Get Maybe. up in the morning, though. Uh, right. In today's show, tonight's show, whenever you listen to this show, um, I know what you did in August. How do you handle downtime between games and Bad. Facebook and the number of the beast? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get rid of that music a little bit. Okay. Uh, right, so um, let's start then. Uh, it, it, let's say, it looks as though Luke is, is just not going to be everyone. Is everyone else there? Let me just reply to Luke. <laughs> yes. Everyone and their mum. Yeah, so I was just going to say that. So, um, things we're going to talk about tonight then. So, uh, in the UK, particularly, um, August time is the big time for the big events and everybody sort of, well, the big shows then, yeah, in that respect, mm-hmm. um, when everyone does their, their their major laps. I don't know why that is. It just happens to, to be historically, probably it's the longest, we, you know, bank holiday weekend that we've got, um, yeah. which is a kind of a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday thing. So it's a good four day event. Uh, So Robert and I uh, went along to Curious Pastimes uh, again, because we were invited to do that uh, by Emmy Lou. Um, And Tom went along to Balrog Gaming, uh, which he likes to go to. So uh, where should we start, Robert? How do do you want to play this, my friend? Oh, oh, let's start with Balrog. Okay. 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 That seems like a nice place to start. Start with Balrog, is it? Yeah, start, start with B and work up to C. Okay, okay. Well, um, for people who don't know, uh, Balrog is a uh, much smaller system than most. Um, it, it has roughly around 30 people in it, so it's a small LARP um, based on uh, Barnswood Scout Camp, I think. Yeah. It's, it's, Scout Something Camp. Like that. it's a lovely It's a lovely site. Um it's got everything you could possibly wish for. It's got bunks. It's got good showers, toilet facilities. Pretty good. Hey, I even got a phone signal up there. <laughs> hey. I remember with that. Um, and it's very close to um, the town of Leek. So literally five minutes in the car, you're at a supermarket. So yeah. it, it's a great location. Um, I've been, this will be my third year there, third, fourth. More than that, surely. Fourth year there, I believe. Fourth year, I think it is. Fourth, mate. Yeah, wait. Mm-hmm. First year is twenty. Drag. Yeah, fourth. Fourth year. Um, uh, there. That was four years. So I've been laughing for for about four years now. Um, almost getting to the f- fifth. And um, essentially, um, for those who don't know about it, um, it's a collection of small adventurers, um, who go around trying to save the world, uh, the universe, or attempting to anyway. And um, again, sort of series of fights and puzzles. And there are a lot of puzzles in Balrog. Always a lot of puzzles that are associated with the world and its history and, um, and things like that. So it, it is not simply just hit things, win. You have to think about things. And it, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And this year was just as, just as much um, with a little twist. Um, oh. uh, myself there, I play a character called Dreg, who is a very old dwarf. Um, I sword and shield. Dread. Dreg. Oh, not Dread. Dread. <laughs> no, not Dread. Dread. Sorry, I was getting other images in my head there. Not Dread. <gasps> I am. <laughs> <laughs> I not that image. 
I can't do I can't do the mouth all weekend. <laughs> like, that's hard. That's, that's hard cool. to do all yeah, weekend. Yeah. Um, we we'll get the tune right out there, man. Yeah, you go. Bring it out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it works. It's almost like looking <laughs> uh, looking in dread. Uh, right. So um, so yeah so. Essentially, um, the event came to, we need to find, um, well, sorry, it, it, all the events are linked. Okay, there's like one giant story, and they were all linked. And the previous event, we cocked up, and we cocked up badly. Essentially, the bad guys won. And one of the bad guys called Manny, uh, who Kylie, another character in ours, absolutely adores, um, essentially took this gauntlet of all powerful or knowing stuff and became like this evil necromantic master who can control all undead and shit. And um and we cocked up at the at the at the the event previously. So this is the ramifications of that. And uh, so we're looking for something called uh, the Blue Phoenix, which is like a okay. kind of like a demigod kind of thing to help us um save the world against Marnie, basically, the, the, the evil doer, the new evil bad guy. And okay. essentially the whole event was around that, but there was a slight twist in it where we went into a mirror world, so all your alignments were switched. Okay. So most of the alignments, okay. so most of the people there um, had their alignments as good, or like neutral good. It would, it would be something along the lines of like, uh, the worst would probably be like neutral chaotic or neutral evil, like someone who just doesn't give a crap. You know, most of them lawful good, neutral good, yeah. something like that. Um, so obviously all of those was flipped yeah, in, yeah. It, when you went into the mirror world, which yeah. came up with yeah. some very interesting role play scenarios. Uh, because basically uh, you're telling the person, you know, the way you've been role playing your character. Well, mm. do it slightly differently. Well, do not it, slightly. It's quite different. Do it evil universe. Do it evil universe. Yeah. Be and evil. It was Good. a lovely idea. Yeah. It was a great idea, but it came, but it came to one of the things that were, didn't work too well when it when it actually came into practice. Because some of them, when they play a character, they're either so used to playing that character or, or thing that mm. it's hard for them to suddenly be a twat. Yeah, you know, yeah. because you know some people role play a character like they would themselves, which is perfectly yeah. fine i 100 percent agree with it if you want to do that go for it i do that yeah. in a lot of games yeah. um but but the problem was obviously your alignment has changed to either evil or chaotic evil or yeah. neutral evil or something like that and it was quite difficult for people to get into that immediately it took a bit of time to get used to the switch okay. which yeah unfortunately led to some friction early on yeah, uh, yeah so for example uh, one of the party gave birth to an egg okay um as you do happens all the time you, as you do particularly at the keser uh, particularly at balrog something is coming out of someone's anus at a kez event uh, <laughs> or going in um <laughs> either way and, <laughs> and essentially uh with my character who was neutral evil so basically he just didn't give a crap um, the yeah. person who gave birth to it didn't want the egg. It was abomination. So I went, okay, I'll stamp on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy peasy. And a lot of the people in the thing went, well, why, why are you doing that? It's just an egg. It's not, it's, you know. Blah, blah, blah. And so that was the first time where they went, well, they're not really playing their alignment just yet. It took a bit of time. And eventually as the day wore on, they got more into it, which was good, yeah. which was good. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I just did a quick snatch because um cassandra re she was there uh she was given the egg and she was holding it and she handed it to me and then i went and stepped on it and all happy as larry it was brilliant um and uh but this whole kind of like alignment thing it, it did become another problem later on where oh we had to uh feed this <laughs> this is kez's mind going feed this baby to this demon to progress right okay and yeah, yeah. yeah good guy yeah 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 and some people found it very difficult to come to terms with that up yeah, yeah. to the point where some kind of outer character things was getting in there not intentionally 
no, but no, it no. did sneak in. Which... Actually, that's, that's a really cool point, though, Tom, that now we're doing something, ask you something completely out of character, not to the characters, but to themselves. Mm. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. really hard. Yeah. And you, um, unfortunately... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, it ground progress to a halt for about six hours. Okay. So for Ooh, six hours, time. I think it was around that time. It was a long time. I didn't count, but it was a really long time. And no progress was made because there was a group of the party who were flat out against it. And unfortunately, most of that group held the key to doing this potion to calm um, the baby. And I'll do that yeah. now, Stu. Bear with me. I'll do that now. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Um, while, while Tom's just, 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 just doing, doing something for me, um, if you are watching on Facebook and what have you, which I hope you are, uh, just do me a favor. Let, let us know that you're actually in there. You can uh, more than happily sort of uh, put comments on, ask questions, etc. And so while you're there, and if it's the first time you've actually sort of viewed us, then, you know, give us a, I can never do this, a heart. I, I can't. There, there you go. Give, give us yeah, a heart. I, I, I got to re-enter. I'll be right back. Hey, just to let us know that you know we're that you're actually here and uh that has helped us out greatly. <laughs> ah, Greg Jones. All right, all right, Greg. Yeah, Greg, how you doing, mate? All all good in the Greg world. <laughs> of course, Greg's on a 30 second delay. Yes. Um we have to wait now for Tom to actually come back. <laughs> I should have checked that out beforehand. Always wear headphones when doing podcasts. Tom should know this by now. Tom does lots of podcasts. Tom should know this. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll cut this bit out in post. <laughs> well, probably not. Okay, so Greg wants to. Okay, Greg wants to know more on this. So, okay, Greg, we'll get Tom and we'll that's, we'll grill Tom a bit more about Balrog. Yeah, so no problem. Balrog is a really great little system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's it, it works quite well. And uh, one thing I will say about its creator, uh, writer, that you never quite know what he's going to come up with next. No. He's a wild card. He's a wild card, GM. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Thomas. <laughs> What's he doing? Are you, aren't you asking to plug in some headphones? <laughs> uh, well, you know, first he's got to go mining for the various to make the magnets. Yeah. And then he's got to move them to an ergonomic shape and then add some wires. You know, it takes a while. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Well, the, the good news is, in your absence, uh, Greg, what Greg wants to know more about Balrogs. We've got to try to get more out of you. Actually, finish what you're talking about, then we'll try and ask you a few questions. And in the meantime, while he's finishing up, Greg, if you want to put your questions in chat, we'll go for it. And, and, yeah, and yeah, yes, yes, Tom is, no, Tom is back now. Go for it, go for it, Tom. I shut up. Yeah, you're back. Just, add a, just adding you back to the scene. <laughs> We needed to do this to progress to save the world where people were dying left, right, and center. But they were very firm. They like, think, no, doing this is wrong. It's wrong, you know. Um, so um, it was up to the other parties to kind of persuade them because they had the key to making this potion, right, to calm the baby so the demon can eat it, basically. Okay. okay. That well, does actually sound really wrong. Let's calm the baby so the demon can eat it. Yeah, that is exactly what it's Kez. Um, actually, actually Stu, said. Stu, is that a show title? <laughs> <It's a pen>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can write that down. Hang on a second. Where did I, um, I put my pen? I'm, I'm not that well organized to do it anymore. Mm. Ah, there it is. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So, what was that? Let's let's feed what? Let's calm, let's calm the baby so the demon can eat it. Yeah, something like that. Let's calm. So it's, that's essentially what we had to do. And um, so wrong. It really is wrong, but we were evil, you know. And um, yeah. 
some I, I think that and it, it was a good idea well it was an interesting idea on how to progress and how far the party would go but there didn't seem to be much wiggle room in the sense of there are alternatives. Th this is something we had to do. And if we didn't, we weren't going to progress. And yeah. it kind of felt like, well, I, I would have liked another alternative to that. Maybe it's even harder. Maybe it's even harder than that. You know, like the easy version would be feed the baby, done. Maybe it goes, okay, the other option you can do is hunt me these, this, this, and this, put it together, do a ritual, something could go wrong, and then do it, you know. But it's less kind of thing. But that was <laughs> that, that was just per my personal opinion. I just love the fact it was, you know, the easy the easy option is feed the baby to the demon, done. It is. You know? It is. Yeah, easy. Yeah, easy, so easy. Let's all go down, down, down the Winchester and wait for this to all blow over. Exactly. So... <laughs> Yeah, and uh, that original thing was meant to last maybe an hour. It lasted probably about <laughs> five to six hours trying to sort it out, and so many. And it was like it was it was it was just difficult because oh, there was it was just so stubborn. It was just a flat no, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. walk and I was walking left, right, and center. I think everyone had given up at this point. They've gone in their own selective clits. They were yeah. drinking, having things. I was like, right, I, I'm, fuck this. I don't yeah. drink, guys. So yeah. there's no enjoyment whatsoever for me. That I want to get this done. So, so I decided, so right? Yeah, yeah. Go on. So I decided. So basically, so basically then, you, 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 you know, what, what you're saying to us is that flipping the roles on on characters was a was a, a, a kind of a bad move. It didn't. Um, didn't well, it. it, it... I don't think it necessarily was a bad move. I think it was just consequences that no one could have seen. No one could have a, a kind of like thought it would have gone on this long because the the evil p members outnumbered them completely, and pretty much all the evil ones were the fighters. Now yeah, it could have been very easy yeah. for the fighter just to go bonk, knock them out, take it. But the problem was, which I don't think. Uh, maybe the refs when they thought about it is that all the ones who were against it were herbalists who we needed to find this herb and they were the only ones that could find it now that essentially takes out the option to knock them out and carry on because yeah. we need them and if you knock them out they're not going to help you anyway you no. know so it, it kind of got to a, a, a thing where Eventually, where I just, after walking left, right, and center, trying to sort something out, we eventually kind of came to a point where um, I explained to them that if we didn't do this, then we yeah. were all going to die in the and because we would starve to death after a certain amount yeah. of days. Right? So it eventually yeah. pro progressed on. And I, I think that's probably the, although it was very interesting to see, and it was a very cool idea, me personally, I think something should have been introduced to kind of alleviate that burden, or, you know? or perhaps give you a give you a, a second option. Yeah, yeah, a second option or something. That that's just my own personal opinion, um, and yeah. that was my only thing about the weekend where I was a bit oh, like that because at that point, a good few of them were basically just like, I just want to, I just want it to continue. We, we, it's got to that point where you're just like, I just want it con 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 to continue now. Um, yeah. So it was that. Um, so that was the only, I would say, the only um, semi downside to it. Like I said, it was very interesting. And I liked the idea of it and the conflict, the in party conflict. It was great. But it went a bit too far. It went a bit too far in that. And it basically just grinded the game to a halt. Um, but. Um, after that, it was great. After that, it was fantastic. The next day, everyone was, you know, we can progress again. Uh, we had to do certain evil things again to, you know, all this. And it was a whole set of puzzles you have to do again. There's, there is no simple fights in the Kez event. It, there's always a hidden puzzle in there. Always <laughs> a hidden puzzle. Always to do with friggin' elements as well. Always. Yeah, um, I, because my element is necrotic, um, not by choice, by the way. Um, I had to you you had to bob for um, like your element in a pool. I had to bob for a giant heart. It was like that big. I I couldn't do it. It was like that big a heart, and I had to do it. So I cheated and went. <laughs> but don't uh, tell Ken. Um, but yeah, 
and and everyone watching. Uh, but overall, I mean, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of good fun. And I think a lot of people there enjoyed it too. We had quite a few there. And we had a decent-sized monster crew as well because it, it doesn't happen very often at the Kes event no. um, because um, monsters and players pay the same amount. So yeah. if you, the people say, oh, well, if I'm going to pay that amount, I may as well play. Um, so it was nice to have a decent... Um, monster size and we came up with a new plan called plan a which was great when dealing with monsters which plan a is essentially everyone charges at the monsters and it worked <laughs> it worked the monsters don't expect it you know monsters coming in they expect everyone okay defense okay okay and then tactically they came in we just shouted plan a and everyone i mean everyone just charged forward at them and we took you them by surprise, and we went. No one survived. went down. You wouldn't have survived if Luke and I were there, mate. No, no. Yeah. And I think yeah. you've got to understand that the monster crew was quite inexperienced. There was a <laughs> lot of first-timers there, and we had the shock and awe value <laughs> when we did that. It wouldn't work against veterans. It wouldn't work yeah. against veterans. And I don't know if it'll work again now that we've done it once. <laughs> but no. uh, at the time, it was great. Um, but overall, it was a very, very good event. A very good okay. event. Okay, cool. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. So, so what I, I was suggesting then, from just a sort of game design point of view, that it, if you sort of straight jacket plays down a certain route, down a straight line, it, that's probably going to end up with problems. Yes. I mean, it's good to have um, structure because they did an event where it was very sandboxy, where you could do anything and they, it was hinted at clues. And that didn't turn out too well because there wasn't enough guidance to the players. You know, they gave the players a bit too much freedom. And at the end of the day, they kind of just went, well, what are we supposed to do? Yeah. You know, yeah. They, they, so um, I think guidance is very important. You can't just do a flat sandbox because a no. lot of the players won't know where to go. And I think guidance is good. Like you've got this trial or challenge, complete it. But I feel there needs to be multiple ways to do a certain challenge. Agreed. You know? Um, mm. so just in case, like, well, one, just in case they can't figure one side out, having two ways that gives them, you okay. know, multiple ways to do it. And it gives, again, the players more choice on which way they want to go. Yes. You know? yeah. um, I mean, another option, which would have been awful, would be, OK, you don't want the baby. Sacrifice a party member. Yeah. It's a worse <laughs> option. We've done but... worse. We have done worse. Yeah, we've yeah. done worse. Absolutely. We've, we've sacrificed entire parties. <laughs> oh. Tom, I've got a question for you from Greg. He wants to know how often are these events? Uh, Balrog is once a year, uh, the bank holiday weekend in August. Uh, it's uh, Friday to, uh, well, the LARP days are Friday to Sunday, but it's there essentially. You can go on site Thursday to Monday, really. Yep. Um, it's uh, once a year, bank holiday uh, in August. Uh, it costs a hundred pounds. In that hundred pounds, you can, uh, depending on who first come first serves, you can get a bunk. You've got great uh, shower facilities, great toilet facilities. It's all indoors. It's all plumbing. You don't have to worry about that. There's a supermarket literally five minutes down the road. Um, the people there are awesome. You know, very friendly. I mean, yeah. I love going. It's a shame it's once a year. It's honest. a very, it's it's a very good introductory lab. Yeah. It was the LARP that got me into LARPing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what, what we'll do, Greg, is I've made a note. We'll put all the links to Bar Rock stuff in, in the show note well, page. So... I, I know Greg anyway. So, um, oh, it's, there you go. It's, yeah, it's, 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 you know, yeah. I can get in touch with Greg. Greg, if, if, you, if you really want to come LARPing, mate, uh, give me a shout. Yeah, I'll I'll point you in the direction of some good ones, some smaller ones, some free ones uh, in the beginning as well. So you don't mm -hmm. spend money just to see whether or not you actually like it. Yeah, not a problem. There's a few uh, just down um, uh, Barry Way, Rob, I think it's a few uh, and what have you. That sort of area. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a great site down there and you'll find laps there which are like good crewing for free. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's quite a few bikes around South Wales. There's a load of there's a load of load of different laps. And also look at the Forest of Dean. Lots goes on in the Forest of Dean. Yes, yes. indeed. Indeed. Including okay. two weeks' time, me and Tom are LARPing again. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that. I, again, I can... that's another lap I go to, TR, Twilight Rounds. I love it. 
actually, actually, I'm lapping in the falls of Dean next weekend and the weekend after. Yeah, you just a, a, a manic demon, and you, huh? You know, yeah, uh, and, stop laughing. Actually, you know, actually uh, off topic, but I'm going to give a shout out here because uh, Gideon uh, Lawrence, who runs Wyvern's Tales Histories, he's running a lap for a stag party in a week's in a week's time up in the forest. And I'm kind of looking becoming forward. becoming quite popular. Yeah, uh, laps as, as stag parties because you know you do actually sort of stay at yeah. usually at the venue. Uh, there's do. always alcohol involved. Um, oh, you know, you get to have yeah. a good time. So, well, <laughs> with this tag, do how can I how can I put it? Crimson Moon, I'm involved. <laughs> Crimson Moon are, are an, the the best uh, in character bar tavern slash, um, yeah, winery <laughs> and meadery and beerery uh, that you can uh, you can find on the planet. <laughs> Every herb all, you can think of. Yeah, so 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 good. I I've just paid my last bar bill with them. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time, <laughs> Time to rack up some more. The um yeah. so yeah, yeah, Greg, mate, if if you know, get in touch and we'll we'll sort something out for you, but not yeah, problem at all. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Always welcome new people. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Um so Rob and I, as I said, we went to Curious Pastimes, uh, their uh, their August event, yeah. um, renewal. renewal. Uh, now, like I say, with the one that Tom went to, that's a that's a smaller event. Um, it's it's a bit more a bit more personal. Um, yeah, bit more usually, intimate. usually quite usually quite intimate where Kez is concerned. Um, uh, the one we went to, there was 900 players um, on site, plus over 100 and something crew. Uh, yeah, so, so a tad bigger. Tad bigger. So it had, only a tad bigger. Um, but fair play, uh, didn't feel crowded at all. I mean, how, how many oh. acres is it like, Rob? About 64 acres, mm. give or take. Uh, but it just yeah, felt about right, actually. Yeah. You um, weren't crammed in, but it, you, you, you know, there were people everywhere. But, yeah, but not like it, it really like uh, the atmosphere. Yeah, like like uh, Barnsworth, this is also a, a a scout camp, so it has proper toilets, proper showers. Um, yeah. There is only camping uh, if you're going along to play the game, uh, but yeah. that's not too much of a drama. But to be honest with you, there are eateries, there are drinkeries, uh, i.e., Crimson Moon. Uh, again, that's why Rob and I have a bar bill. The <laughs> the um hi Sam. <laughs> yeah, hi. yeah. And, and fair play. Uh, they're they're excellent. You know the the games again this year again was was superb, incredibly well run. Stuff going on all of the time. Uh, the traders that were there, there were quite a few, uh, mm-hmm. which was great to see uh and v- very diverse in a lot of their uh, uh ways as it were so that was good to see as well um i went up i think it was on the saturday i came up rob yeah you came sort of saturday evening arrived pretty late this saturday uh i i got there day before the lap started yeah yeah so still the theater was thursday night uh and so friday daytime is sort of prep prep for the video all. I okay, think Friday yeah. evening is when it all kicks off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, a, it's um, a great little game. That's yeah, little, big, big, huge. Big, hel- big hello to Rian who's just joined. Hello, Rian. Give us a, you know, give us a heart or a thumbs up or something. I can never do that. Hi, Rian. Rubbish. Hey, Rian. Uh, you know. uh, she <laughs> went to uh, Balrog. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for, for, for me, again, the Curious Pastimes game just... Oh, it just they've just got it down to pat. They've got the whole running of it and what have you brilliantly. Um, how long I'm quite curious... impressed with the number of people that are there, you know. Uh, how, how long has Curious Pastime been going? Yeah, I'm curious. This is the 21st year. 21st? Yeah. Yep. They've, they've been, they've been <laughs> running a little while. Yeah. Just a tad. Yeah. Just, a, just a little. Uh, I think old timers. <laughs> just, to, just to give that, I was eight. When it started, <laughs> uh, oh, so Emmy, uh, <laughs> Emmy <Yeah>. Lou, sorry. <laughs> you see how old, sorry. How, old, how old was I then? If it's 20, 24, Rob beats me. Oh, how old was I? 
21 years ago. Yeah, I was 30, man. Ha 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 ha! You know what? I love it. I love it. Love it. Oh, and now my camera's gone. <laughs> Dead, He's no, gone blue. No. Yeah, that's his oh, me old. <laughs> I'm I'm suddenly now on witness protection. No, I have to choose my voice like this. <laughs> I'll find you. Yeah. Eventually, I have coming. a certain set of skills. It should. It just it needs to refocus, doesn't it? Come on! Oh, oh there he goes. Hey, <laughs> oh no, they can see me. Um, <laughs> the yeah, so so you know, I know you went down first off, Rob. Uh, yeah. Just you know, the, for for the entire game. Yeah, um, awesome. So, tell us your experiences because you were mainly playing. I was mainly filming. Uh, so, tell us how your experience was. Oh, it's actually diverse, I, I would say. Sorry, I okay. just saw the replay of Stuart's hand <laughs> on, on, on my second monitor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Always freak the blood. I think first I want to say is that it's they are a really the, okay. It's it's traditional UK LARP in that it's the game is divided up into a number of factions and the factions are interacting. Uh, so that means each faction gets a camp, uh, but because there's only eight nine hundred players, neither none of the main character camps are so huge as to be uh, really that's what I'm looking for um, intimidating. Overcrowded. Yeah, they're not overcrowded. Mm. They're not intimidating. They kind of feel like natural encampments. Mm. Yeah, really, How really, uh, really, like, like, really, like, like people are naturally coming together. Uh -huh. Sorry, Tom, Do go you... on. Do you know how many factions there are? I mean, nine hundred people—that's a—that's a fair few people, you know. I mean, are there like factions of all sizes, like hundreds, one or two? I mean, is there a minimum you need to make a faction? Yeah, you or... need, I think, um, forty-nine people to make a oh, faction. So they're quite big. Oh, they're quite big. Yeah, it's yeah. not like a billion little factions. You know, you need a yeah. good yeah. number to. You need a really good number to make a fact to make a faction there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, some of the factions has been established since the start of the game. Yeah, others have added, been added on over time. So I'm just going to put them right now: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven major major factions. Mm. Plus, there's some mercenary camps are becoming sub factions or separate factions in a variety. So there's like eight, nine factions. Wow, nice. Okay, I mean, interesting. I mean, the way the way that it's 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 kind of done, though, Tom, is that the 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 faction camps are the in character camps, right? Yes. So they'll be, you know, um, realistic looking. I mean, some of the marquees and stuff that they've got there are awesome. incredible. Uh, I yeah. mean, I mean, you know, straight out of something out of Lord of the Rings or or any sort of medieval uh, type thing. Um, so they 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 look in character and they are in character. Um, and the camping right, camp and, you know, and and those that, that that have got the in character stuff. Right, you know the the proper stuff. They can camp in there, right? right. If you've got a mod yeah, tent, you there is then um, another camping site not that far away from everything, uh, where everybody else goes yeah. to sleep. Yeah, yeah? yeah. and as simple as that. Uh, but then they kind of stay around the in character stuff then for for the daytime. Okay, interesting. So yeah, so, so the in character camps are the people who camp in character all weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in in appropriate looking tents. Uh, out of character camping is people who don't want to create an in character camping experience, so modern tents essentially most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, but who want to who want to go so who want to at the end of the night go back to their tent and have well a bit of a time out. Yeah, which is yeah. nice. Yeah, absolutely. Like, just typing, you can probably hear me typing. Yeah, yeah. Stuart's, Stuart's typing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just just, just re re was saying. Um, sorry if you have mentioned it, but they they run the same time as as Balrog um, in August. Yes, but they do run two other. I think they run more than two, but they run no, two okay, other so events we, as well. Okay, so Pass Pastimes run three major events throughout the year. Yeah, uh, one in May, one in August, and two at in between times. I think it, there's one in July and one in June. Um, I'm definitely planning on going to May and August next year. July, I know I can't go to because that's my son's wedding, and he'll kill me for the laughing instead of going to his wedding. 
He'll get over it. Yeah, he'll get over it. I'm looking about the other one. Uh, so they have three major events, but they also have sanctioned events run by the factions as well, and they run their own sub events during during the year. So yeah, in theory, yeah. you could do a load of of, of curious pastimes if you wanted to. Uh, yeah. What I found was the factions are really friendly. They're really easy to, oh, yeah. to, to, to get into. Uh, really easy to talk to. The people in them, they really have, a, they, you know, they, they're not just playing a set a, a set plot. There's, like, so much plot. Yeah. There is the overarching world plot. Okay, world plots. Sorry, Emily Lou. I should put an S on there. <laughs> yeah, plots are not lots of plots. And then people are creating their own plots within the camp, their own plots between factions, their own plots between players. It's, yeah. it's like plot, a plot of a loser. There's plots everywhere. Yeah, wow. no, defi- uh, definitely. But, I mean, it's and and forever. and um, this is just sorry with all the questions, but no, no, um, go for it. I like with these factions, right? Um, yeah, are they all like? On the same side, defeating one evil, or are they backstabbing, oh, or are they no. fighting each other, or are some oh, yeah. factions <laughs> on the evil side? And yeah. is it like that? Oh yeah. There's, as there's, as, there's, as I said, as I said many times before, Tom, right? Evil is just a matter of perspective. Okay. Very true. You no, know, your your true. evil may not possibly be my evil. <laughs> yes. Some people believe in sacrificing babies to demons. Other people yeah. don't. You know, other people frown upon it. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah. So no, they're, they're, all the factions have their own belief systems. Mm-hmm. Their own thing, they, their own thing they stand up for and go for. So they're not all the factions versus an overarching evil. There is big world plot going on. Yeah, but they all have their own points of view, and sometimes they unite in, in, in alliances. Sometimes they're at each other's throats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it all just depends on what's going on and how the, how the players interact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. what they do together. And- and the way they do it, especially you know, especially at the, the the big events, each faction will actually have its own dedicated ref that stays yeah. with them oh, that's all the time. Good. Yeah, and that's one of the things I like about the control on on, on on curious pastimes. Each faction gets a ref. That's them. Yeah. They're floating refs bobbing around as as and where needed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's also uh, curious pastimes, like a couple of the big UK events. They have the idea of the factions being able to enact rituals to ask their to ask their gods of things and yeah. ask, spirit, oh, okay. and ask, I'll ask things of the spirit world. That's nice, but does that mean there's also a full time ritual set of rif- ritual refs who aren't just watching, but they're actually running a soundboard and light, effe- and light effects oh, board that is as well. Cool. And, and that and that especially in renewal because it is in fact uh, curious pastimes renewal of magic is the full title. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is constant. As soon yeah. as that opens up, right? Wow. That's running twenty-four freaking hours a day almost. Yeah. Um, and, and, that, and that's and important to the game world though, because one of the things that happens in one of the game world constants is that magic and the gods and the supernatural are not guaranteed. Unless yeah. humans do rituals, unless humans perform rites, yeah. things start going wrong with the balance of the world. So yeah, the yeah, renewal yeah. of magic is literally the player's chance to make sure the world's going to be right for the next year. Yeah. yeah. And if they don't, uh, that, that gets written into plot. Yeah. Okay. James, James, good good to see you, mate. Uh, glad glad you could join us. We have been talking how my red leather armor looks uh, far better on you than it did on me. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> I've seen the pictures, James. It's far better on you than him. Don't give it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, don't 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 give it back. Just mm-hmm. give me enough money for it. Uh, the <laughs> fits Where's better. The money? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> the um, <laughs> yeah. So you know that 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 magic circle, you know, it, it, the ritual magic circle is running constantly. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. It, literally, it's 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 yeah. always going. Time in for renewal is uh, ten a.m. in the morning till. Yeah. PM at night. That fit that circle lights up at ten a.m. in the morning and treads down as soon after two p.m. as two two a.m. in the morning as they as the rest can get away. Yeah, <laughs> God. And it's constant for the the entire event, you know. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I, I'm I'm sure they could run it twenty four hours if they left them. To be honest, but uh, yeah. at some point, the refs yeah. need some sleep. Yeah. But here's the interesting, but there's so much plot going on. You you know, it it might feel intimidating, but it's not because it's just. 
you can also be as immersed and immersed as you like. So if you can live mm. live your character's life through the plot entirely in character, or you can slip out and do other things, or you can go to the bar and go, yeah, I'm going to bar in character, or you can go to the bar and go, I'm kind of in character, but I really want to be and attract my and attract my mates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you, I, I, it's nice. I feel yeah, that's really quite and quite yeah. important. Rian asked, uh, if you sleep, is that in game two? Well, only in the daytime. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is a timeout from 2 a.m. in the morning to 10, 10 in the morning. So that's, that, that nobody's going to affect you in game. No. Uh, there's two camps over here. And there's, an in there's the in character camps where everything about that camp is in character. So although you're not going to be affected by the game, you're still living and sleeping in your in character experience. But there's yeah. also an out of character camp. Where everything is completely out of character, and you just and you just camp there, whichever way you fancy. Yeah. So that's you know, usual usual stuff for for most of these LARPs. It's it's not a, a completely immersive LARP like um, the one Rob and I went to in Poland, where it is twenty four hours yeah. uh, for the for the entire time. Um, so yeah, that, we... that was that was fair weather man. We went to sleep one night. Out of character, we woke up in character. We did not leave character until until time out in the lap. A couple yeah. two days later. Oh, that was great. <laughs> no, no, Rian. The only time you've ever woken up like that, sweetheart, is when I woke you up, and, and that's that's fine. I completely understand that. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, James says he missed. Where are we going? So, Stu, do you want to try and fill him in? Uh, where are we? Uh, oh, is, is this where are we going? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, I think I think. What? I think James might be alluding to a little plot we have for next year, which is taking James to Curious Pastimes May event. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, 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 sorry. Yeah, um, I mean, hopefully, uh, y yes, James. I mean, you haven't actually come back to me and said yes yet, but um, Emmy Lou and Curious Pastimes are up for you going as a family, yeah, Um to actually experience one of the events and uh, me coming at me, me and Rob and probably, probably Tom uh, coming along to actually uh, film it and get all the good stuff that way. Yeah. Oh, and he says, right, I said, quite right, James, you wouldn't say no, you come along. If you no. want to know where it is, it's a Packer Scout camp, which is just north of London. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Actually, we all travel. Really, together, yeah, we all travel in combat. It's actually so easy to get to. Yeah, it is. It really is. It really is. Uh, Sophie, glad you could join us. Uh, nice to see you. Give us a wave. Give us a heart. Give us a whatever. You know, uh, just let us know that you're there. Yeah. Um, the uh, <laughs> uh, Sophie, by the way, is my cousin. Just let you know. It's 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 uh, family night here tonight. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So so yeah, the the games are good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time again. Um, they're so accommodating on on, on everything that that we want to do, as well, because yeah. they know yeah. that we you know we do good media. There's some videos that I put up as well, uh, and uh, I think there's a there's a some kind of review as well, up, Rob as well. For the yeah, last... so we we've got uh, at the moment on lapbook.com, we've got one review that uh, that goes over the whole site. In there, there are a load of photographs by one of the in-game uh, photographers. Um, yeah. Steve Flasher Mitchell, and there's That's also Stewie's, Stewie's a sort of atmospheric overview video, which is great. You need to watch that. And then we also during the game, I wrote four diaries, one diary per day, and I also put in di photos for each diary as well. Yeah. So that hopefully that will, you know my experience is down there, to, and I'm hoping that will help people get a grip on what's going on. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So. Uh... So I, I hope that's that's kind of been a little bit informative for everybody about what we've been doing um, this August. Uh, Tom at Balrog, myself and Rob at Curious Pastimes. Uh, both of those events have their own merits. It's as simple as that, you know. Yeah. Tom, Tom's, you know, the, the Balrog games are nice in, intimate games um, where everybody can get involved. Curious Pastimes, as I say, is a 900-player, 100 uh uh, crew um, event, so it's a lot larger. Um, the battles are naturally more spectacular. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, personally, I think they do battles. They're some of the best battles in life I've seen. I've seen yeah. bigger battles. Yeah, I really have. But the way they use the scout camps terrain to put the, to put the side the warring sides into the battle, 
Yeah, it just really works for me. It's I agree. It's, it's not like two like uh, two teams lining up on a field and running at each other. They no. do it in woodland, and the players and the players get a choice as to how they enter the area, how they how they come onto the field of battle, yeah, and yeah. how they find, how they find each other because they can't they can't even see each other at the start of the battle. Mm-hmm. So you have two literally two armies in there, hundreds of hundreds of players in each. Yeah, and yeah, you, and you can't see the other side. I love that. That's yeah, kind of exactly. cool. That's really cool. You know, and are they and, and they have some decent big rock monsters as well. That uh, adds yeah. add yeah. to the mix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a sucker for uh, LARP photos. I I love seeing the yeah. different costumes, the gear that people do, the different monsters, the yeah. facial expressions that people do when they're fighting. The... <laughs> Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I've just seen reels. Yeah, yes, you're right, Lead. Loads of shields to run into. Uh, I think we explain that story. Uh, so I've, I've laughed with Ian before, and she's awesome. But there was a little incident a few years ago where I was monstering. No, no, Ian was monstering. I was playing. Yeah. And Ian, just, I, I was using a Viking style round shield. And Ian thought it would be good idea to charge me. <laughs> well, let's just let's just give him an idea on how tall Rian is. Okay, go for it, Tom. Uh, she's about five, five foot, foot five. <laughs> she's not that bad. About five foot four, I think. Five foot, yeah, about five foot four, I think. She's yeah. not very big. And Rob, Rob, how tall are you? <laughs> uh, about five nine, five ten. Yeah. Quite near five nine, to be honest. And quite and quite sturdy, you know. Quite, so quite robust. Like That's robust, the right way of putting know. it, yeah. It's like, <laughs> you wouldn't want to run into it. <laughs> but it is, I, I, I had been on to pick up, pick, pick up people and throw them in laps. Yeah. Hello, I'm sitting yeah. right here. <laughs> there you go. He's five foot oh, no, no. He's five, five foot, foot one. Five foot you one. She is, she is taller than five foot one. She wears heels. Oh, my camera's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> now you're in witness protection from Rena. Yeah, I am. Uh, you're in protection again. I, I, I really just quite right. I masked it because she couldn't see me because she ran into my field and basically bounced off as my, you on my field off the ground. Yeah, as you do. Uh, uh, so uh, lap safety. Lap, lap, lap safety, lap safety everybody. Don't charge head first into a shield. It might seem cool in the movies, but trust me, <laughs> it's not <laughs> going to be good. It doesn't work, no. <laughs> no. Well, it does work. It works very well for the person with yeah. the shield. Yeah, it's you shield. know. There's a reason there's a shield there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, mean, I think you'd love those battles. They are, they are immense. They're fun. Actually, they're yeah. quite funny in places too, because there's a lot of humour between banter yeah. going on between the sides. Mm-hmm. A lot of banter going on, uh, and they're really exciting. There's so much happening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We've got yeah. loads of battle photos on on the on some battle footage on the website. So go and have a play with it, and come next yeah. year. Yeah, come yeah. next year. That'd be awesome. Right. If we if if we move on, so I think we've waxed lyrical uh, quite a bit about about that uh, tonight. Um, okay. So the the next topic then is is um, Luke was going to be doing this one, but of course uh, Luke being Luke forgot that we were actually recording tonight and is driving somewhere and is not going to be able to get home in time. So you know, uh, thinking of you, Luke. Yeah, Luke, thinking of you. Um, so <laughs> he was going to talk about um, what to do, the, you know, the downtime, basically, in between big LARPs or, or, or LARP events. Um, and usually some systems use things like play-by-mail or things like that. But we wanted to know more than anything else what your system or what do you do um, in between games how do you sort of progress plot character etc um so if you could let us know just uh, email us at uh, contact us at lapbook.com um yeah. we'd be very interested to find out how the system that 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 you're involved with actually handles that side of things whether or not you bother at all whether or not yeah we'll do it next time you know or or whether or not you use a play by mail yeah. system or a forum or whether or not you decide to get you know, yeah. go to the local pub um, or eatery and um, discuss things there and jot stuff down, you know. Uh, so we'd be interested to actually find out how that works 
within the system that 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 you're involved with all run um so if you could let us know that'd be fantastic yeah so yeah we, we want to get into a little bit of downtime or play by mail or however you want to call it so please yeah, yeah. just do so when we do the show notes i'll put up some i'll put up some sort of I'll put up a link to the contact us at lastbook.com email address, but also do a little contact form there so you can help make it easy on people. But if yeah. you just want to comment on Facebook, go for it, please. You know, yeah. use it. And for some reason, I'm noticing on on our our screen the the scrolly bit at the bottom, even though it's showing fine on my screen, uh, it's actually cutting off the contact us at LARP. It's lapbook.com. Oh, yeah. All right, for whatever reason, I'll have a chat with the devs about that and say, oi. Sort it out. Um, Contact us at lapbook.com. Yeah. yeah. That's okay, the so email address to getting. Yeah. And then perhaps we'll do a special on downtime. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, also, just to let everybody know, we actually now have 666 likes on Facebook. So we are now <laughs> at the number of the beast. Um, so uh, let's just leave it there for a bit because I think that's quite funny. Uh, you've got someone going to come along and go, go like. Um, well, that's 667. Actually, I'm not going to get 667 or 668 or any number higher, but right now we are the number of the beast. The number of the beast. Yep. So that, that's quite cool. Um, uh, I think that's all we've got, isn't it? And anybody got anything to add? Uh, that's what we plan to chat about, and I'm, I'm feeling that that's fine at the moment. Uh, yeah. yeah. Out, out there on Facebook and in, in the chat, if you ever want us to sort of have a go at anything, just tell us. Yeah. Um, next laps we're doing is going to be what with Wyvern's Tales next. Good God, it's next week. It, <laughs> is, it is next yeah. week for you, Robert. Yes, it is next week for me. Uh, with, with Wyvern's Tales up in uh Oak Raven Field Center, yeah, where we'll be doing a, a 12th century horror lap that's as we warned is going to be heavily Cthulhu inspired. Oh, Excellent. Okay. Cthulhu, that, that's got to be good. It's got to be good. good. That's got to be a few more grey hairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just 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 one or two, mate. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. And fine. then a week after, Tom and I, um, are, uh, we're off to Twilight Realms for the next instalment of their of their current uh, campaign. Yeah. Sweet. Really looking forward to that. Sweet, excellent. And, and hopefully next, starting next month, I'm actually... Uh, going to be hopefully coming to a, a lot more LARPs and what have you so if you want us to come along and what have you let us know uh, and we will uh, do what we do the voodoo that we do so well yeah. um, um, don't do no I was pretty much it right? okay I just you, you just reminded me then uh, guys over at uh, Green Cloaks I know I need to talk to you and I haven't forgotten so I've just been stupid busy in the few weeks since uh, Curious Pastimes so uh, start expecting some messages real soon. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tom, anything? Uh, no, no, not really. But, you know, tell us how your August LARP weekend went. Tell us about yeah. it. Write yeah. about it. Talk about it. We'll stick it on fa on uh, LARP book. Yeah, we'll stick it on LARP book. We'll stick it on Facebook. We'll stick it wherever we can stick it, said the bishop to the actress. Um, so I, I just like to say, right, a, a massive thank you to all of our lovely patrons who actually make it a little bit easier to keep this show going. Without you, uh, it would be a little bit more difficult. It was just, it's as simple as that. Um, and with that in mind, should you have the extra dollar a month or what have you to, to help out the show, then go along to Patreon and actually pledge it. And, you know, you'll get a wonderful newsletter for, that Robert sort of writes up every month so, about what's going on what's coming up etc uh and um there might be some more stuff coming up in the future i gotta discuss that with rob yet because rob doesn't know about it because i've only thought about it uh so <laughs> rob's are going so it, it's what? Very what? now what now what's he done Nothing. <laughs> now what am I, now what's he got me doing <laughs> go to patreon <laughs> and, and the keyword here is lap book i'll buy that for a dollar i'll buy that for a dollar <laughs> Uh, you know, um, so if you would like to get in contact with the show again, just <laughs> email, uh, contact us at larpbook.com. That email gets uh, to, to myself and Rob, uh, so you know, one of us will, will pick it up uh, at some point and we'll 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 answer it, not a problem. Yeah, so if you need to yeah. know anything, like I, I helped a lady out the other day, uh, she was looking for LARPs in a particular area, um, and I you know I pointed her in the right direction, um. 
to LARPs that were kind of in her geographical area as well. She go to, I helped her contact them and I know she's gone along to them. So hopefully she had a fantastic experience there. So, you know, we are quite nice. We are helpful. Um, so if there's a topic you would like us to discuss or something cool you saw or fancy just writing an article for the website, then email the show, contact us at larpbook.com. Okay. Oh, and if you're not into writing, but you've got pictures, you know, uh, if you want to put together a photo gallery, I'll pick some pictures in. We love photos. Yeah, we do love photos. We do love photos. Um, so music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. As I said before, uh, don't forget to go across to the Patreon, patreon.com forward slash LARPbook. Uh, we do have a shop that is now up on LARPbook.com. Um, we'll be getting more and more things there as time goes on. So we got a funky new logo and everything that we need mm-hmm. to sort out with them um you can listen to this podcast uh, on itunes you can subscribe to it there or on whatever app that you use to actually find this stuff that's fine with us uh but i would ask don't forget to give us a five star review uh, if you think it's worth it of course give us four if you don't um <laughs> you know because it all helps to get the the show up the rankings and helps us out uh so yeah, we'll, we're also on Twitch, YouTube, etc. Just search for LARPbook and you will find us. So that's it from uh, me, that's it from Tom, and that's it from Rob. So bye, everybody, and uh, it was nice to see you all in the Facebook group. Bye-bye. 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 Ba 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 ba.